What is up fellow anglers? I hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. But uh, well, welcome back to another episode of KJC Angling. You guys know what we have going on around on this channel. Fishing, hunting, preparation for hunting. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm Kyle and uh, I'm the host. And we're gonna, we go out fishing, we hit big lakes, small lakes, we do some boat projects right there with the boat. I uh, just put a deck motor on that and like I said this is all for the new people that are new to this channel and uh, so today we're uh, until bow season and uh, it's like some last minute final things we gotta do so I'm gonna go check trail cameras today uh, hang up a camera mount so I can record when I'm out there hang up a easy hanger which is easy hanger is just so you can hang your bow on the tree while you're sitting in the tree stand and come back we have a lot of agenda, but we'll we'll talk more about that. I got to put broadheads on the arrows, the new broadheads. Uh, I'm gonna shoot one of those, see how they fly through the air, because it says it has to be like cocked one way. It's a new rage, uh, and I want to just shoot some practice arrows too. Just just last minute pre preparations. We do not want to make a mistake after all this work. So this is what we got going on over here. Don't forget the keys. Right, all right, yeah. Let me make sure I got everything. So I got the the uh, viewfinder for the trail cam images, batteries for the one trail camera because I think it was low when I put it out, the easy hanger for the bow, camera mount, hydration, let's put it in a bag, put it in the car and uh, see you guys at the woods. Alright fellas, we made it to the woods. I'm gonna try to keep my voice down here a little bit. We're on our way down to the tree stand. And we're gonna check the trail cams. Set up the easy hanger, the camera mount. I wanna do some range finding, see my yardage. Just peek around you guys know. Oh it's actually a beautiful day out. It's not too hot. Not raining, not cold for a fall. This is pretty beautiful fall, but for the deer activity, I don't know. I'm not too, not too sure about that. I don't know if it's going to be a good uh, open season, or I should say the beginning of the season. I have no idea, but I do know we're going to give it hell. If you're not out in tree standing, you're not hunting, then you really, you have no idea. Uh, if anything's coming through, I just want to see what's coming through and uh, see you guys at the tree stand. Camera time. Yep, 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 yep. I just want to show you guys what it looked like from the ground. So that bottom one right there is the easy hanger. I'm really pumped. It's a bummer. So let's go back to picture one for you guys. I'm gonna have to drop this camera down a little bit. So, picture one. I don't see anything in, so I'm not just two. I don't see anything in. Three. I don't, but okay, so there's four. There's a deer right there. I cannot tell where it is. Looks like a decent sized deer, but he's right there. Or she's right there. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna drop this camera down some because I, I want to know what it is. And there's one right there. I don't know if you guys can really see it during the night. Right there. Another night photo. This is a cheaper camera. I should put the other one over here. Another deer right there next to the tree. 
Looks like it's still there right next to the tree. Nothing. Hold on. So in this one I can see. Good sized dough. Good sized dough right there. Let's see what we got going on here. That's it, back to picture one. So we know that we at least have one doe and there's probably about four of the deer on this trail cam. I'm gonna put this card back in, lower this a tiny bit. Like I said, I'm thinking when it's just sitting up like this, it's looking right over the deer because there's a little gully right here where it goes drops down a little bit. That was my fault when I set it up, but hey, we know there's deer coming through here. And uh, most of those pictures were during the day, early morning, and looks like one at night, so. We didn't completely fail. We know there's deer coming through. Well, that's uh, a couple things accomplished from the pegs and stuff going on, but cameras kind of botched that really bad. Um, the one trail cam right next to the tree stand, I know there's deer coming through. I know it was in the morning and at night and really late at night. So I know there's deer coming through. I know it was one or two doe in the, in the camera. I don't know how good you guys could see. But the rest, I couldn't see the heads because I had it too high. This one, I have no idea what happened. No, it's not even making this, this camera. That camera's old. I have no on order. Of course, everything takes forever to freaking ship in the mail. But. I changed up the batteries in that one. Hopefully that was the only reason maybe the batteries were shot. I don't know, I still had a couple bars when I set it up. I think two bars, maybe one bar. But hopefully, we're gonna come back without probably Saturday or Sunday. Check one more time. I wanna make sure that one's, if that one's not working, I'm literally gonna fucking shoot it with a shotgun. Like, sorry for the language, I'm just pissed off at it right now. I just, I just dick with it probably for a half an hour. And reset it. And it like takes one picture and then, I don't know, doesn't wanna take another one. I'm not going to mess with it anymore because it's just frustrating me. Alright fellow owners, we're back at the house and uh, sorry for the frustration about the trail camera. It just, it really eats me up. You uh, you take all that time to set these trail cams up, you give it a week, you don't you don't rush back in there and check them because of the excitement. And you get there, one was too low, I mean one was too high, which is my fault. That one I take 100% responsibility for but the other one like I had battery life it really just that's the one that really fresh me like I just spent half an hour working on it out in the woods hot sweaty marched up the hill after that, that took care of some of the anger you know um but it's just it's just frustrating because you Okay, broadhead, first take, let's do it. Sweet. That sounded good, felt good. Champ, knock it off. Champ's over there barking. He's not about the bow thing. It's all right. Okay, let's go take a look at that. Ah, I'm excited. I think they both. Broadhead looks good. Deep in. Field tip. Uh, let's tip it up for you guys. Perspective on the broadhead. That baby went in. We'll all hold our fingers right there. Holy crap. 
Things gonna do a freaking number on a deer. That far. I mean, that thing's pretty dang far. Still sharp. Like I said, this stuff right here is meant for this exact thing. And, uh, phew. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Uh, we just shot a couple more rounds. Feeling pretty confident, honestly. And that's probably not a good thing to do. Not, Don't get too cocky. I'm not cocky, I'm just feeling confident. It's a good spot. The trail camera is literally 23, exact 23 yards from the tree stand and there's deer crossing on that path. There's, I don't know what else you can feel conf conf confident about on that because do you, I mean, come on. 23 yards, I just shot 25 of that broad head. Just demolished the target and uh, I wouldn't want to be on the other receiving end of that broadhead that's just like that an inch and a half cutting diameter but with that being said um like I said sorry about the little rant about the uh, trail cam just a little upset about that and that's the newer one honestly and it was a more expensive one of the two and I apologize that the the first one we got pictures of deer on but we didn't it wasn't low enough and it, I, I should have known better because down there was a like you're on the tree and then it kind of goes down in the little goalie where the deer are crossing on this path. I should have known better. It's my problem, my fault, but I don't want to ramble on like I was doing every other outro. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and uh, hunting season is literally six days away. So I think within four days we're going to check trail cams one more time and then be out of there for two days. It's not going to bother them too much. Like I said, we're just going in. We're being qu as quiet as can be. I didn't even I didn't spook any the other day, so we're good on that um one more time we're gonna check trail cams we're gonna keep shooting for the rest of the week we just shot a couple rounds tonight and uh we're gonna shoot the rest of the week like i said so uh like i said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you haven't already please go down and hit that subscribe button right down below and uh turn on the notification bell so you guys are notified every time i post a video and if it's not for, if it's like it's if it isn't for you guys i wouldn't be in this place so keep sharing these videos telling your friends tell them to subscribe keep it going guys i love you guys so much and uh if it wasn't for you i wouldn't be in the position i'm in so i love you guys like i said share these videos and uh, tell your friends but without with that being said I love you guys right here. Good night. Peace. Whatever you guys want to say. Good night.